Hey everybody, Neil Malik with Knack Training here, bringing another everyday office video. And in today's video, I want to talk to you about how bibliographies work in the newer versions of Microsoft Word. So if you've ever needed to create a, uh, a list of citations at the end of a document, uh, you know how difficult it can be to keep track of all the different reference materials that are being used throughout that document. But in the newer version of Microsoft Word, we have this new feature where we can insert a bibliography and we can do it incredibly quickly. To do this, we go up to the References tab at the top of the screen and you see that Citations and Bibliography are about in the middle of the set of buttons that are up there. Now, if you go to the top where the button for Manage Sources is, you can click on that button and these are the sources that are available in this current document as you can see here, as well as if you were creating a series of different documents that all use different reference materials, you could have a master list of sources. So to add more entries into the sources, you could go to the new button here and then decide to include books, magazine articles, etc including their author and other relevant information about them, or this is the other thing that you can do. At the point in the document when you need a citation to some piece of material, you can go to the Insert Citation button, and you see there Add New Source is available as well, and it's the same dialog box that opens up. So beforehand, you can absolutely go to the Manage Sources dialog and sort of stock up all the reference materials that you'll be using, or you can go on the fly and create a series of different reference materials. Let's do both. I'll go to the Manage Sources button at the top of the screen, and then click on New, and I'll add a couple of new books. So the author will be Jones, Kim. The title will be Book Title one. The year will be 1999. The city will be New York. And the publisher will be Penguin Press. And then when I click OK, you can see there that the new entry is in the master list for the uh, for Microsoft Word as a whole, and that we do also have the current list that are available in this document. And let's just go ahead and make one more new entry. and then I click OK. Again, that entry goes in there, and I can click Close. So if I'm at a particular point in the document, and I decide that this paragraph right here is using one of the books or articles, I can go to the Insert Citation button up here at the top of the screen, uh, click on the article, for example, and that gets placed in there. I can click to another paragraph, go to Insert Citation, and add the reference material for the book, and then later, let's say right about here, let's use the uh, book again. All right, and then right about here, let's say we realize that there is actually another book that we need to use. We can go back to the Insert Citation button and choose Add New Source at that point. And let's say that this is a website. And the author of the website is Harris, Jim. Name of the web page will be um, and then hit OK. And you can see there that that, uh, that web page from Harris goes in. And one more time, uh, let's say that this also comes from that uh, Harris website. So we get to the end of the document at this point. And we go to the References tab at the top of the screen, choose Bibliography, and we're able to add a bibliography, a references, or a works cited. I'll go in here and choose works cited. As you can see there, Greg, J, period, Harris, J, period, Jones, K, period. It's got the entries in here, and it's also, as you can see here, in a field. And what that means is that anytime I want to, I can go to the style drop down menu, switch over to the MLA style, for example, and the works cited will shift to match up with the MLA style for this bibliography. 
On top of that, let's say that there's a new entry here. I go to insert citation and add a new source, and this will be a book written by Billings, comma, Sam. And I'll click OK. So Billings goes in here. Notice Billings is not in the works cited right now. When I click on the button for update citations and bibliography, just like that Billings entry gets added to my works cited. So because these are fields, they are quickly and easily updated. Let's say that I go up to Manage Sources up at the top of the screen, and I realize that this entry for Jim Harris is actually wrong. I can click Edit. I can say it's not Jim Harris, it's actually Bob Harris, and I can click OK. And then you can see here it exists in the master list. Do you want to update it? Yes and then click close. All right, so right here there is uh, Jim Harris, right? Jim Harris is not accurate anymore. I can click on update citations and bibliography and now you can see it's Bob Harris. So the bibliography in the newer versions of Microsoft Word is incredibly easy to keep updated.